Hey friend, this is a series on auto hotkey and we are just going to be going pretty fast here getting you from very little to no knowledge all the way into creating tools, GUIs, getting tools out the door quickly and um, I think that's where we're gonna shine if we spend too much time messing around with keyboard shortcuts, uh, things like this, we're gonna be uh, months and months before we learn anything useful so we're just gonna kinda dive into the deep end as it were and uh, but don't worry um, I'm gonna be there and I'm just gonna get you all the crucial things I wish I knew when I was starting so it's gonna be very fast to get you uh, creating cool stuff go ahead and grab auto hotkey from ahkscript.org if you search on Google you're probably gonna end up with an old version and you're gonna run into issues very quickly so go ahead and grab it from here. Um, grab it right there. Um, you can also jump into the uh, documents. I like to jump in here, find anything I need to know quickly. I could just start typing in there. So that's cool. Um, Auto Hotkey is uh, headed by Lexicos, and he's been doing some awesome things with the tool. I just want to give him some uh, respect there. Anyways, I'm also using a. Um, text editor that was written in Auto Hotkey. It's called Auto Hotkey Studio. Um, actually, what I'd like you to do is, um, that's made my malice wraith, by the way. Um, what I'd like you to do is open up this URL, downloadmob.com slash learn auto hotkey. Click on lesson one, and I'll put some links in there for the things that you absolutely need. If you want to use Notepad++ or some other text editor, you're welcome to use Notepad. Uh, default vanilla if you want but I will have some links in there just one or two to get you the right syntax highlighting um, auto hotkey studio is probably gonna have the best highlighting if you're not feeling too confident it's gonna have the best highlighting for this language because it was uh, built with auto hotkey in mind okay so let's get straight in here um, let's do our first hello world it's very easy um, it's probably the easiest one I've ever seen. We're just going to use this uh, command message box and uh, we use a comma here just to separate it from the rest of the information and hello world and that's it. When you run an auto hotkey script um, actually this is going to be available for download on that as well because I want to give you this kind of structured layout that I've got here to just help us get started. Um, Make sure I save that. When you when you have it installed, you can just double click on it. It'll run. Um, if you are using this text editor, I believe that this button as well does it in its own special way. Um, so that's kind of how easy mess uh, Hello World is. Um, let's just go through this real quick. Um, anything that starts with a semicolon is considered a comment. Um, you can also put comments on the end like that. Um, I've got a few different variables here. This just helped me keep it organized later on when the tool actually becomes something. And I wish I had known this a long time ago, but set batch lines like this just help the script go faster because by default it puts a little delay between each step. That's good for beginners that are kind of focused on hotkeys and things, but that's not where we're going, at least right now. Um, no environment just gives you less global variables so that your script uh, doesn't have trouble when someone else is running it elsewhere. No tray icon. It, by default, auto hotkey will give you a little tray icon of the currently running script. I don't need my system filled up with a bunch of those. Windows likes to remember them. Don't need it. Uh, let's just use that for now. Single instance force. This is the most important one, however. <clears throat> what it does is if you, have, if you double click that script three times, normally it would be running three times, but that's usually not wanted. Though, in some cases, I do have two instances of a, of a script running at the same time. For the most part, we only want the script running once as one program. So that's, that's what that's there for. Um, and then the other thing here is exit app. When this is encountered, Obviously your program starts up here, it starts reading things. When it gets to the end, this is where it's gonna terminate. All right, 
The last thing I want to mention for this class is variables. Um, very important, obviously. So let's go ahead and put it above here. Um, let's use a variable A and let's set that to, I'm sorry, set it to hello world. I'll just put it on my clipboard for now. Um, and variables in AutoHotKey are kind of cool because you don't have to say, oh, this variable is an integer, this variable is a string, this variable is a long string. No. You could put anything in it here. You could put a whole file in here if you wanted, for the most part. Um, and then the other thing I want to just mention and get you playing with is the expression assignment operator. This is something that newcomers to the language don't really deal with too much, and it gets them into trouble later. This expression assignment operator is going to take the result of something, in other words. If you want to do two, 1 plus 2, you'd probably want to do it like this. Um, as well, you can tell it to put the value of A into B. Now, um, So that's also what it's useful for. Um, whenever you can, you should be using it like this. Um, this functional... Doing it this way is the exact same. My goodness. This text editor is a little bit new to me. I might be switching later, but for now I think it's the best hi highlighter. Um, so I think that's going to be helpful for us. But these two do exactly the same thing. A is getting a string called hello world, and B is also getting the same exact value. So we can put either of those in here. But how would we do that? If we just go like this, what's going to happen is it's just going to tell us the letter A. What we want to do is we put those in between two parentheses symbols. Now when we run it, we get there what we wanted. So that is how that works. Now there's a few more options for anyone watching that's advanced, but um, for now that's how we're going to do it is uh, put those two in parentheses. Uh, we can put B there, and because it's the exact same, it works. Um, that's all I really wanted to mention for now. Um, when you run, go ahead and get this set up. Um, I'd like you to play with these two assignment operators. Put your own values in here. I want you to just see how they work um, and uh, play around with message box. Uh, go ahead and do some assign some uh, math, like 1 plus 2, like we were saying. 3. Great. It's working. So go ahead and play around with that. Maybe 5 minutes or, you know, 3 minutes, whatever. Get yourself set up, and let's go on to the next lesson. Uh, thank you guys all for showing up. My name is Ch Chunji, and I'll see you in the next lesson.